You may have noticed there's also two USB adapters on the side which means you can charge three things from this without bringing one of those extension cords which I love. Something that you want is at the bottom but you don't want to zip it all the way down, you can just zip it from the bottom and get it out like that. This, oh my god, I would not go travelling without this, this is my holy grail. You get a shower cap and you use it for your shoes. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing well. If this is the first time you see my face, I would love it if you subscribed as I post videos every Thursday and every Sunday at 5pm. By now we all know that we're starting to ease lockdown restrictions and countries are starting to open their borders again and although I'm not sure I would recommend travelling at the minute or even before the year if I'm honest, I am an advocate for planning things while well, you can't do them so I think now is a great time to be planning the travels and we all know that I love travelling on this channel. So today I thought I would film a essential travel accessories that you need to have video showing you all the accessories and things that I picked up that helped me over my travels and that I've collected. You can start collecting these things now when we're in lockdown so that when the border restrictions and things open up you're ready to go. The first necessity when you're travelling is obviously luggage and I'm going to talk you through my backpack quickly because I really like my backpack. I'm just going to run you through some of the features of it and I will have everything linked down below as well. This is my backpack. I think it is from Quecha. I don't know how to pronounce that. This is what it looks like. It is 40 litres and it's specifically for women so it's a little bit slimmer and it fits the waist and the back really well. As you can see it's got these pads to tie around your hips so that when the heaviest things are at the bottom it's sitting on your hips and it's not hurting your back. And these have little pockets that you can see there so things are easy accessible when it is around your hips and on your waist. It has a air cooling system here, I don't know if you can see but this bit is like all open and this means that if it's a really hot day when you're travelling and this has been on your back all day you're not going to get too sweaty because the air can still get in this area here. It's got clips across all of these straps obviously and sadly I still have the tag on from my last trip and I can't really bring myself to take it off yet. As you can see here at the top it's got a little secret pocket which just sits at the very top here so you can put things that you need to grab in and out like a rain jacket or something really easily at the top here. Moving forward to the front as you can see the front clips down over like this. It's got some little tags here at the bottom if you wanted to clip on like a water bottle or a neck pillow and down at the very bottom here it has got a rain cover for the bag itself. It's just in there, that orange thing, I can't be able to get it out though because it's a bit of a faff. It has got a mesh pocket at the front here which when I was travelling I used for like shoes and flip flops and things because it's really stretchy and it's mesh so if it gets dirty or wet it's not a big deal. And then at the top it has just got a drawstring so you can tighten it really tight before you put the flap over and it's also got a zip here so you can store even more things behind the mesh pocket and once you go inside there is another secret pocket here which is really good for things like passports and money that you need to grab really quickly it's got another inside pocket here i don't know if you can see but that is another pocket in there then the thing that i possibly love most about this bag is the fact that it zips all the way down to the bottom so you can kind of open it all the way down and it's got two zips so if something that you want is at the bottom but you don't want to zip it all the way down you can just zip it from the bottom and get it out like that. So that's all the reasons I love this backpack and I think that a good backpack or a good suitcase is essential so that's why I started on this. I'm going to move on to other types of bags that I think are essential when you're travelling, smaller ones obviously. I think a good wash bag is essential. This one is quite big but it's obviously good and waterproof. Another version of this I like to take is something like this. This is just the bag that your glossy stuff comes in and it just keeps things good and protected and it's obviously waterproof as well so I take a couple of these for your toiletries and another one is good for like dirty clothes or stuffing your wet bikini in if you need to go somewhere and your bikini is not dry yet. I like to bring just a little coin purse because the purse that I use at home is not suitable for travelling like it's just so big and bulky and I don't need all my cards and everything so I like taking a small one like this which I picked up in Thailand and just using that. They're also really handy for small things that you don't want to lose like bubbles, Kirby pins and SD cards. Now you might disagree with this one but this is something that I definitely think is essential and it is a bum bag. Mine is a little bit wrecked because I took it to Thailand and it got covered in UV paint but this is just really handy. I got it from Primark. I don't think you need to get an amazing quality one of these. Obviously you get what you pay for but this lasted me well and it's a good size and I just think it is 
so handy to have something easily accessible and on your front so it's less likely to get pickpocketed. Now obviously I already showed you this wash bag but it's got a couple of things in it that I just store in there ready for travelling so I'm going to run through those now. My backpack because it's 40 litres I actually can get away with it in hand luggage in some airlines so you're going to need one of these if you're taking hand luggage which is just the liquids bag that they allow you to take on. You can't take more than 100 mils of space or liquids so you need one of these. You can get them at the airport but I like to pick up a couple just so that I'm ready and I don't have to faff about at the airport and I've already got it all in the bag. I just have a travel toothbrush. I think this is really handy because I use an electric toothbrush at home and that would just be such a faff to bring around and then this means that it can also stay nice and clean and dry and not get all the bits of fluff in the head. Travel razor. I think this isn't really an essential but it's definitely handy to have because it comes in its own little case and it's just really cute and small. I just have these deodorant wipes. I bought them for Thailand. I didn't really use them that much but it's definitely handy to have wipes. I used them more as wipes rather than deodorant wipes. A shower cap. Now you've probably heard of this hack and I used it when I went travelling as well. You get a shower cap and you use it for your shoes so that the bottom of your sole isn't going to make everything else in your bag dirty. So I used the pocket on the outside of the bag for my flip flops most times and I either wore my trainers or I put them in here. This is a great hack to have so I just keep it in my little toiletries bag for the next time I need to bring my trainers on a trip. Obviously I have lots of little minis in here just waiting for the next trip. I have insect repellent, I have after sun, toothpaste and my cellar cleansing water. An essential is earplugs especially if you're in a hostel and you're trying to sleep. These are really good. I use them on the plane and I actually handed them out to some other friends that I made because they hadn't brought earplugs and I felt like the smart one handing them out and helping everyone out. So these are an essential. I also have lots of empty bottles in case I have like a shower gel or something that I want to bring then I can just fill them up in these. This one is my favourite rather than these because it is stretchy and squeezy and this little sucker bit sticks to things on the wall so that is a bit more handy than these ones which aren't stretchy and squeezy. My last thing in here, I used this a couple of times on my trip but when I'm travelling I prefer to go to laundrettes because it's just a bit easier but if you're in a pinch it's good to have this. So this is just travel detergent for washing by hand in cold or warm water and I used this a couple of times like I said. I think it did the trick. It's not going to get like stains out but it certainly freshens things up so I would bring a little bit of this. If you're going to a tropical climate this is definitely something that you will need. I haven't used this yet but my friend bought me it as a gift and I'm definitely going to be taking it on my next travel. This is basically just a massive poncho style raincoat and it would be really good if it's warm but also wet. So it comes in this little thing so you can squish it up really small and just stuff it in your backpack. It'll take up no space and it's better to have it than not have it. In the same vein as the earplugs I bring a sleeping mask. I don't use it too much because I just don't really like things touching my face. It doesn't feel natural because obviously that's not how I sleep at home but it's handy to have one and obviously you can just fold this up like so small it will just fit in your backpack. Like I said before, better to have this than not have it and this one is quite funky. I got it for Christmas. It's just got little frills and leopard print on it so I'm going to be bringing this on my next trip just in case. I have this. I've actually never used it. I was a bit too scared to use it just in case it wouldn't work but I know people that swear by these. So this is just a underwater phone case. So it comes with this so you can like put it around your neck or whatever if you're surfing or swimming. I wouldn't take this too deep but you just pop your phone in there and it will keep it safe from the water while you're like taking pictures or filming or something. Like I said I haven't used it but it folds up really small as well so this is just another handy thing to think about. This, oh my god, I would not go travelling without this. This is my holy grail. This is a microfiber travel towel. It is massive, it covers my whole body and it actually squeezes up even smaller than this. I kind of wish they'd made the packet that it fits in smaller because as you can see I can like fold it up even smaller than that. It just dries so quickly. I just hung it up in the bathroom after I'd had a shower and by the time I went to go and have my next shower it was dry. Obviously an essential is either earphones or wireless headphones. I think wireless headphones are probably the more popular choice because they're just easier and you don't have to faff around with anything. So this is an essential as well. Obviously if you're going somewhere sunny you're going to need a cap. The number of times that I've actually forgotten this is quite surprising. You would think that you remember to take your cap and your sunnies which I will show you in a second but apparently not. These are just my sunnies. These are from Primark and I think they're quite trendy. I have a couple of pairs now. I don't like to buy expensive ones because I have a habit of losing these so I just think that a couple of pairs of cheap disposable sunglasses is essential. My last item here which has been a game changer is this. I got this for Christmas I think a couple of years ago. This is a Scross Adapt to the World worldwide travel adapter. So this can basically fit 
any plug wherever you are in the world. It depends on like you change, press this thing on the side and then you change them and they all come out of the side here so you can see all the different travel adapters there and you just press this button on the side and slide it on the side there and you may have noticed there's also two USB adapters on the side which means you can charge three things from this without bringing one of those extension cords which I love and this is just so handy I don't have to worry about what country I'm going what adapter I'll need I just pop this in my bag and I'm ready to go along with a couple of guidebooks I think this is my list of essential travel accessories that you definitely need on your next trip and well while we're all sitting at home and planning our next trips I thought this was a good video to make so give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed comment if you've got any travel accessories that I missed and subscribe down below to see new videos from me every Thursday and every Sunday at 5pm I'll see you guys then bye